everyone, Haley Bright here from Newegg TV. Today we're taking a look at the H100i GTX liquid cooler from Corsair. This is the successor to one of the most successful AO liquid cooling units of all time. So what do you guys think? Can this live up to its name? Let's go ahead and find out. Taking this out of the box, you guys can see it comes with a manual. I know a lot of us aren't the biggest fans of reading manuals, they usually just go to YouTube instead, but this manual is really informative, so I definitely recommend flipping through it. You can see as you look through it, there's the included parts list and the step-by-step -step installation directions with accurate pictures to help you out. Yay for pictures! The kit comes with dual 120 SB fans that hit over 2400 RPMs based on a 240 millimeter radiator. Also included in the kit is a back plate, Intel standoffs, we have the AMD standoffs, the AMD mounting plate, long and short screws for mounting, and the washers for the screws. It comes with the 1366-1155 mount already installed. Just twist and remove, and your AMD mount will go on just as easily. On the other side of the pump, you guys can see it has the Corsair logo. I think it's pretty cool that it lights up here and you can customize the color to match your case. Corsair's Link software allows you to customize your RGB LEDs, your temperature and performance, and monitor your CPU from your desktop. As far as looks go, the H100i GTX got a nice makeover. It has a more angled look than the previous model, it has silver accents on the radiator and the pump. And the good news is, if you guys don't like the silver, you can also put on a red or blue replacement plate. The tubes have nice sleeving without gaps or bare threads, which go directly into the pump, which looks a lot cleaner, but you're gonna compromise a bit of that maneuverability when it comes to installing it into your case. Installation on this is really easy, but if you guys wanna see a video, just go ahead and click our description section down below. To sum everything up, Corsair has done a really nice job with this. They've improved their overall look and their performance from the previous generation. I think though, if you guys are happy with your current H100i, because it's probably working just fine, go ahead and stick with that. But if you guys are looking for an upgrade, this is a really solid option. Again, leave me a comment down below. I love to see your all's comments. Let me know if you guys are team AMD or team Intel. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Haley Bright for Newegg TV and I'll see you guys back soon. Bye.